Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. We're here to talk about how to distinguish between linear and nonlinear. Now, linear is actually one of those pretty straightforward functions out there, and you could say that there's linear and there's everything else, which is why they're called nonlinear. So let's talk about some characteristics between the two, and you'll see how to be able to distinguish between the two. Now, linear, let's start off with a graph. Linear functions is basically that of a line. It could be upward, downward, or horizontal. You could, there's also vertical lines, but linear uh, vertical uh, lines are not considered functions, so I won't draw that. Now, nonlinear is basically a graph that's not that of a line. It can be a curve. It can be a split graph like that, or any, any graph that's not a that of a line. Now, also, a linear function is that of degree 1, meaning x to the first only. Okay? Nonlinear, not degree 1. When it comes to a polynomial, we're talking about x squared, x cubed, x to the 10th, etc. But also, nonlinear can be thought of as non-polynomials. For example, you may have square root of x. You could have x to the 1.6 or even negative exponents, just like so. So after a while, it's pretty straightforward to distinguish between linear and nonlinear, given the fact that linear has some very fixed properties and nonlinear can actually go all over the place. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there are a few tips on how to distinguish between linear and nonlinear.